Thank you for watching Blackset. Blacksit family, Blacksit family, Blacksit family. How are you today? I hope you are well. I hope you're fantastic. And I hope you are great. Welcome to Blacksit if this is your first time um, happening upon this channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are welcome. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Um, I'm Niancho Kajabi. I'm your host today here on Blacksit, AKA Juliet Ryan. And I'm here today on this channel and Blacksit, if you don't know, Blacksit is all about your journey back home to Africa. If you want to come to live, if you want to come and stay, if you'd like to come and visit, but come anyway. And that is what Blacksit is all about. Your exit from the West back to the best, and that is Africa. And it's all about your repatriation, relocation, back to your nation. Yeah, your deliberation. <laughs> I come up with new ones every week. Anyway. <laughs> Today is a really interesting program. I'm here in the beautiful, beautiful Gunjo. And uh, Gunjo is a wonderful, wonderful place. It is the most happening, most developing um, area here in the Gambia. And the Gambia is on the west coast of Africa. And it's one of the smallest countries here. And uh, it's a developing country and it has so much to offer, so many opportunities uh, and especially regeneration opportunities and investment opportunities. And I'm here today to talk about one of those opportunities, but I am joined by my very, very special guest. And um, I'm going to let him introduce himself, actually, because um, he's done so much for this country. And I don't think that um, I should really uh, I would give him the accolade that he deserves. And so I'm going to allow him the honor of introducing himself to Blacksit family. Um, I will say <laughs> your name, Elon Sylvester, and I will call him pastor with the master. <laughs> Elon Sylvester, thank you for coming. Thank you for joining us. You're, uh, you're here from your wonderful ministry, and I'd like you to share uh, your journey and why you're here with Blacksit family. Absolutely. Well, hello Blacksit family. Well, my name is Reverend Dr. Elon Sylvester and I am here to visit with my friend Blacksit <laughs> <laughs> Niancho Kachobi and um, I'm looking into acquiring some land because we are trying to do a little bit of a mission project here in the Gunjur area and um, it's on behalf of uh, my church in Westbury, New York and uh, um, the rest of our denomination in the New York Annual Conference of the United Methodist Church. Uh, it is our intention to try to do a school and a church in this area. We, we think that, you know, when we look at the vision of Blackset and what they are offering, it's just an exciting thing that uh, many of our folks would like to repatriate and come back to um, the motherland, as we refer to it. The thing is that when we come back, we want to just not come and acquire lands and do things for ourselves. But what we would like to do is that we would like to come and we'd like to bring resources, resources that could help our brothers and sisters that are here on the continent, those that are in need of various things. One of the things that we are particularly trying to do is to bring education. 
You know, when we look into the eyes of the children here, they are brilliant. You see so much potential. And the fact is that they do not have sufficient exposure to some of the things that we have in the West, some of the things that we take for granted. So what we're trying to do is to see if we could acquire a good piece of land where we could be able to bring a, a modern program here, right in Kunjur, in the Gambia, where we could have STEM program, that is science, technology, engineering, math, you know, where we could have somewhere where kids could learn computers and all of the things that we take for granted in the West. So that is basically what we are trying to do right now and working in collaboration with Juliet and with Black Suit. Thank you so much. Now, the, you're no stranger to actually helping here in the Gambia. And I would like to talk about one of the great endeavors that you did here that helped to save lives. And, you know, I'm so proud of you and I'm so thankful for your, um, your, your constant support and assistance, especially in community projects. Now, um, we had a disaster zone here um, in Gambia, in a place called Nemakunku, which um, unfortunately f suffered a terrible natural disaster, um, which ended up in people losing their lives, even children losing their lives. And um, as a result of that, you actually came um, to the rescue. So I would like you to share um, with people what you did, how much you contributed um, to help uh, to ensure that people wouldn't die anymore, because that's so important. So you're not just here, you're actually saving lives. Yes. So let's talk about that. Yes, you know, I can remember specific numbers, but what I could recall is about two years ago, yes. we came here, my wife and I, for the first time, and of course, we were looking online and we saw Juliet and all of the fantastic things that they were doing. And we came and met with them. And, you know, we just had a wonderful time. In touring with them, we went to this village called Nimakunku and discovered that there was a real need there and that people were dying because of flooding. And we, we saw some of the videos of some of the things that was taking place. And then what, what we found out is some simple fixes that these people needed. So uh, my heart was so touched, my wife and I, when we went back home, we reported it back to our church. And, you know, we got back there the Thursday night, the Friday morning, we were in a prayer session, 6 a.m. And by 7 a.m., <laughs> the people that were in the prayer session with us, they all just started to saying, well, we want to contribute to see how we can alleviate that problem. And by the end of that day, we had almost all the money raised to send to the Gambia to be able to build a road, to help build a construction of a part of the road that is going to help to alleviate the, the flooding in that area. And that was the project that we did. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to say that the, the road is still in use now and I'm hoping that we can make another program where we can actually go visit and speak to people locally uh, to find out about the benefits that they have derived um, since that road was built. We also contributed um, through Blacksit uh, with code as well um, to ensuring that the road uh, was uh, had the, um, was it the... Uh, the uh, equipment, <laughs> I couldn't remember there, right. I, I had a blank moment. And um, not only that, we also contributed petrol pumps to ensure that they could um, pull the water out of, there were big industrial petrol pumps, so they could pull the water out of those areas to prevent the flooding. And also 50 rakes and 50 pairs of gloves so that they could clear the debris. And these things are essential. And you know, we also provided um, food. So I want to thank all those people that helped to fundraise in order to make that possible. So, and there were a number of people who came forward to help. So I just want to thank everybody that did that. Because often we talk about negative things, but we don't talk about the good that we do. And sometimes that goes unmentioned. So I just really want to thank you yes. while I've got you here live and on camera in public, because... We criticize really loudly and we praise quietly. And it's time for us to praise loudly and criticize quietly. That's what other communities do. And we need to start employing that because we're like crabs in a barrel. We're always trying to pull ourselves down. You know, even during when we were doing the fundraising, I had so many things. Even when we were trying to do the road, I had so many things. And the thing is, they were all negative and all wrong and untrue. So, you know, we're going to go and see the road and everybody can see that it was there, it was built and see people benefiting from going on that road yes. uh, where they couldn't get access so they couldn't even get to a hospital 
So one lady, she died in childbirth because she could not get to a hospital. Mm. So this is why it was so important for us to be able to build that road. So I just want to say thank you so much. Yes. And we are on the quest for land, as he said. So I'm just going to brief you why we're here, why we're standing in this beautiful place, is because there are 400 by 400, 400 meters by 400 meters um, available here. And this property has been brought to you by Best Price Properties. So I just want to thank them as well for the exclusive offer um, of this opportunity uh, to acquire this land um, in order to support the needs of uh, the diasporan community. And we are in desperate need of, you know, reasonable land. There are other estates which are nearby, but unfortunately the prices are really extortionate. Um, because of the city that's being built and even in the city the lands are quite expensive as well mm -hmm. and sometimes unreachable for you know people wanting to come home or to acquire a, l a large piece of land for their projects so we are doing that making it affordable for you and also giving you freedom of a choice so this is a freedom estate this is another freedom estate freedom estate was in Bracama which we showed you last time and this is another freedom estate and of course you also have freedom estate mango paradise then you have freedom estate Gun Meadows and Freedom Estate uh, which is in Burkama and that is the um, inner city estate so yeah we just want to thank you so much for watching and for taking an interest in Black Sit it's important because without you watching we wouldn't be here so I just want to thank you for watching and to everybody that has supported Black Sit um, over the years um, and given a donation in any way shape or form or contributed in any way shape or form I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and to let you know that we really really appreciate you and really value your contribution to Black Sit even just by watching you're helping us so I just want to say thank you a heartfelt thank you so you know that you know, we are truly grateful to you. So on this note, I'm going to let you close the program, Elon. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. so you go ahead and you tell people about your ministry and everything else, okay? And I'm, that's me over an ounce. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, as I said before, you know, I pastor the Westbury United Methodist Church in Long Island, New York. And um, one of the things I know is that the people there are touched by some of the things that they hear about in Africa. I mean, uh, we don't want to vilify Africa in any way. It's a beautiful place and undergoing tremendous development, right? A lot of the stories that we hear in the West are not true. You know, this is a phenomenal place to be. But there is underdevelopment and there is a, a, a need that exists here. And I know that our people, they are moved when they see the need and they would like to help. So I want to take this opportunity. I know some of our folks are going to be looking and I'm going to be sending this video out also and sending folks on YouTube to look at this particular video so that they can understand what we are doing. And um, I know that people's hearts are going to be touched because in announcing what we are trying to do, I've had so many people come forward already and say, we want to help. Just let us know how we can help and we are going to be able to do something to acquire the land and then to bring the school, the church and the programs that are necessary here for the children in this area. So folks, I will come back to you and I hope that you're going to be just ready to open your pocketbooks and to do whatever you can to help to make this a reality. We can do this. You know, we can help our brothers and sisters here in Africa to be able to build for the next generation and to be able to do some phenomenal things for the children that exist here on the ground today. So we'll be looking to you and we'll be coming back to you pretty soon. So give out your details because I want everybody to be able to reach out to you yes. to support your project. That's what's really, really important. But should I give the church's number? Uh, yes, oh, feel oh free. Oh, please do. All right, yes, absolutely. Well, so we are in Long Island, New York. The phone number for the church is 516. Three 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 zero eight three four, and I hope that I'm gonna get Say right. Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. Just in case. Five one six three 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 zero eight seven four. Call that number. You would get one of us is gonna answer the phone. The administrative assistant or myself or some other person is gonna answer the phone. And if you would like to make a contribution to help in this project, believe me, we need all the help we can get because we are gonna make this thing happen and you 
in collaboration with us, the New York Annual Conference of the United Methodist Church, and the Black Ministerial Caucus, we are going to bring something here that is going to make a difference in the lives of the children and the men and women right here in Gonjur, Gambia. Lovely. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, for further information, you can drop us a line at info at blacksitgroup.com. That's info at blacksitgroup.com. Do not hesitate to get in contact, please, and support this project. It is a worthy project, and the children deserve and need your help. So, Blacksit family, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and thank you for sharing, and thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. And uh, remember, please, one nation. We are one nation. We are one people. And I always want to give a big thank you before I end quickly to Perspective, of course, who's um, at the end of the camera, always supporting, uh, always droning, <laughs> always supporting, and he offers the best service. So if you want information about that, please do drop us a line also, info at blacksitgroup.com. And just want to say thank you to all of the Blacksit group and of course, all of Best Price Properties too. So thank you very much and I'll see you on the other side. One nation, one Africa. Thank you, Blacksit family. Please keep watching and remember, follow your dreams. Purchase your tracks today.
Empromedisch.